Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, please excuse the glasses. <laughs> I'm having a um, serious uh, PEM crash, uh, PM crash, and I feel like garbage, but I don't want to hold off doing another episode. Delay already happened, so... <clears throat> In this episode, we're going to talk about the Ten Commandments. I was on, I can't remember if it was Facebook or Gab, one of those social media websites, and they were talking about the Ten Commandments. Naturally, some people attacked Roman Catholics saying that we don't follow the Ten Commandments, we change the Ten Commandments. And I was like, that's interesting because I never heard of that before. And as I tried to look into it more, the discussion turned from the Ten Commandments to Roman Catholics have idols and all that stuff, which we don't, by the way, but that's just a misinterpretation of the Catholic Church. But that could be for another time. Um, but I was really interested in the Ten Commandments, so I figured we would go over it. Now everyone knows the Ten Commandments, right? You know, don't covet, honor your parents, don't say the Lord's name in vain, all those things that God gave Moses. So I was going to read through them, you know, are there actually Ten Commandments or is there more like some of these people claimed in, in that online social media chat discussion argument. <laughs> That's what it led to. So I wanted to see, did, did the Roman Catholic Church actually change anything? Is, are we interpreting things differently, which is obviously possible. Um, I thought maybe, are they thinking of the other commandments, you know, the, the big commandment that God gave Moses, where you should love your God with your body, mind, and soul. And then Jesus Christ added to that saying, yes, that's the main commandment, but also love one another. So let's dive into it. Let's count the Ten Commandments and what God commanded us to do. Now, I was going to read from one of my Bibles that I have, um, but I changed my mind because that would be kind of biased because they're approved by the Roman Catholic Church. And if this is an attack by the Roman Catholic Church, I want to see what the Protestants have to say and what's in their Bible. So I'm going to read from the King, King James Bible, which is a big Protestant Bible. Uh, I'm going to read offline from kingjamesbibleonline.org. So it's, it's available. All Bibles are available online, which is great. So let's read and count the Ten Commandments. Let's get into it, shall we? So this is in Exodus chapter 20. And the language in the King James Bible is very Shakespearean. But don't let that intimidate you. I know a lot of people don't like Shakespeare, but it's actually a very beautiful language. And the more you read it, the easier it becomes to understand. So here we go. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Number one. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under earth. I guess that's two. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. Could that be three? Or is that just part of two? Two and a half? For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. So is that like Three or four now, because keep going. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. That's one we forgot, huh? Six days thou shalt labor and do thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth the sea, and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Boy, I wish we could still do that nowadays. <laughs> what happens to just, like, relaxing on Sunday? You know? Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. We up to five now? I'll keep counting, like, in the corner. <laughs> thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. I love how, like, the first five, there's, like, explanations and then it's just, don't kill. <laughs> That's it. Just, really, there really needs to be no explanation there. Just don't kill. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, 
nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. And that's it. Okay, so was there actually 10 there? It seems like there's, the way he's commanding it, it seems like there's like, I don't know, maybe like 11 or 12. Again, I'll keep, I'll keep a little tally somewhere on the screen. Um, but I can see where the argument can come from that there's more than 10, um, especially in, in the first part where, you know, I am the Lord thy God, you shall not have any other gods before me, and then there's you shall not make unto thee any graven image or a likeness of anything. I can see that being two separate ones and people arguing that. It's really just one together, which a lot of people combine that. You know, I am the Lord thy God, you shall know the gods before me, don't create any image. That's as one. And obviously, you know, don't serve them. Uh, for I, your God, am, am a jealous God. To me, that's all just under one commandment. Uh, then it goes into the second one. Even though there was a lot in the first part, the second one being, you know, you shall not take the Lord thy God's name in vain, which we pretty much do all the time. If you say this phrase, oh my God, you are losing the Lord's name in vain. Unless you're saying it out of praise, but most people do not say it out of praise. Like something will happen, they'll be like, oh my God. Uh, you really should not say that. You shouldn't even say, oh my goodness, because you're just referring to God or oh my gosh, because we obviously know what you're saying. So try to refrain from even saying the phrase, oh my God, at all, because that, that's a sin. God said so. Unless you're praising him, oh my God, you know, or like when, you know, Doubting Thomas uh, saw Jesus Christ and he said, my King and my God, you should be using it as phrase, as phrase, <laughs> as praise, and not uh, an exclamation of shock or something. Uh, remember the Sabbath day, that's obviously one, uh, though I wish we did that more, you know, and there's a lot in, in, in that one, you know, to, to remember the Sabbath day, keep the seventh day holy, work through all the sixth, do nothing on the seventh, you know, that can be adding a little more to, to the commandments as well. And then it goes, you know, just, it's straightforward after that, you know, honor thy father and mother, obviously respect your parents, those older than you. Uh, we have lost that uh, big time nowadays, which is a shame, <clears throat> a huge shame. And then it's, you know, don't kill, uh, don't commit adultery. We're doing all these things nowadays. Is it going through this? I never realized how much we all just really sin and go against the Ten Commandments. You know, committing adultery is, is very easy to do nowadays. You know, even Jesus Christ said, um, I can't remember if it was, I think it's in Matthew. But even if you look at someone else, you've already committed adultery. You know, do not steal. That's an easy thing, right? You know, uh, nothing more to that. Uh, don't bear false witness against thy neighbor. Simple and straightforward. Uh, don't covet thy neighbor's house. Uh, that kind of goes into it a little more. You don't cover thy neighbor's house, wife, which seems weird that they split that up but not like the first part where you know you shall have no other gods you shouldn't make any graven image but they split don't cover thy neighbor's wife and don't cover thy neighbor's goods like why is that why not just don't covet what is in yours <laughs> oh that seems like a weird split up to me uh, so that was that's a very interesting to go through it and, and read it like that uh, especially reading it in a different uh, translation, one that I'm not used to, one that I don't study, because I study what's approved by the Roman Catholic Church. Uh, but, you know, the Ten Commandments is a great way uh, to examine your conscience and see where you have fallen out of line, you know? Who, who needs more than the Ten Commandments? Uh, this was very interesting. So are there more than Ten Commandments? It seems like it, but we just call it the Ten Commandments. Make it more concise. You know, obviously it sounds better than, you know, the Twelve Commandments. Um, Ten Commandments. It just, it flows better, I guess. You know, like I said, the last one, don't bear fall witness against thy neighbor, don't cover thy neighbor's wife, don't cover thy neighbor's goods. Seems like it can be lumped together, but I guess, you know, why have eight commandments? Doesn't sound as good. Uh, so that was very interesting. I, I really liked looking through that, because honestly I never gave it much thought. I just accepted that there's Ten Commandments, that these are the things we shouldn't be doing. And obviously, you know, the, the greatest commandment of all, love thy God and love thy neighbor. Uh, but I really, I really enjoyed that. So it's, it's really interesting to read the Bible 
and study it and gain something new out of it and see how we are translating, pertaining it to our lives, um, using it. So hopefully, hopefully we all learn a little something here. You know, what, what happens with translations, what happens when different faiths, you know, see things and, and order us to do things. But I enjoyed this. I hope you did too. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it at that. Is there Ten Commandments? Maybe not, but that's what we call them. But most of all, love your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and love your neighbor. And hopefully we can spread a little more love in this world that we so desperately need. Because reading through these Ten Commandments, whoa, Nelly, <laughs> we, ain't, uh, we ain't doing too good. So good luck, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you all next time.